What we have here is the Red Pepper waterproof, shockproof case for the um, Samsung Note 3. Our test phone here is a non-functioning Note 3, but uh, it is intact except that I've removed the battery and uh, replaced it with tissue paper. What we're going to do is we're going to install the phone into this case and we're going to test the degree of um, water protection that this case can provide. So let's start by installing the phone into the case. The case snaps together and it's a really tight uh, tight fit. Uh, one of the things I first noticed is that it's a very nice lightweight case. It uh, fits nice uh, around the phone. It doesn't make it oversized uh, uh, like uh, some other cases that I've uh, done tests on. One thing that you will notice though is that there is no access to the S Pen. Um, if you're like me, uh, a heavy S Pen user, what that means is <laughs> you simply have to make sure that you take the S Pen out before you load the phone into the case and find some other accommodation for carrying that S Pen. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to fill the sink uh, with a little bit of water and then we're going to drop the phone into the sink. We're going to do a 10 second submersion and then we'll pull the phone out and see how the case does. All right, we have the sink ready to go, and what we're going to do is just going to be a 10 second submersion as if it was an accidental, oops, there goes my phone, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. And then we take the phone out, and right off the bat, I'm not seeing any infiltration in by the screen. So let's dry this off and take a look and see how it looks inside. One thing I noticed also when it was in the water, <laughs> one end kind of floated a little bit, so uh, that was a little different. But let's open it up and let's just take a look and see what's inside. All right, I'm going to do this in stages. First step was to take the back off and what I noticed is that there's absolutely no indication of water infiltration whatsoever. Not on the back of the uh, case nor the back of the phone itself. Now let's uh, do a little bit more disassembly here, see what we find. Once again, I find no indication of water infiltration inside the red pepper case and there's no indication of any type of water infiltration about the phone itself. But let's open it up and let's see if there's any indication of issue inside the phone. All right, and once again, as I look at the uh, inside of the cover and then also at the motherboard itself, zero indication of moisture infiltration. What this tells me is that the red pepper case gave me complete protection from submersion uh, at 10 seconds. The case itself is rated for two meters and of course we were not anywhere near two meter submersion but um, I have to tell you I'm impressed and uh, this is going to be my case for the next little while. Um, the case is also said to be shockproof and uh, we'll be testing that under a different video. Thank you for watching.